out, Cloud. Can you believe this? Cornell? The dawn outstayed his welcome in Midgar and decided to set up shop in the saucer. Great timing, eh? Interesting. There's an event being held at the Musclehead Coliseum tomorrow. If there's a dress rehearsal today, Dio might be there. We should check it out. Greetings, Mr. Director! Hmm, he doesn't look quite right. Well, if it isn't our friendly fugitives, you're looking hale and hearty. What happened to you? I made a painful discovery that the Turks are stronger than they look. You, sir, should know better. You're no spring chicken. Speaking of old things, whatever happened to that wee keystone thingy? We need to get our hands on it. Hmm. It was part of your collection, last we heard. Hmm. It was, yes. And in fact, still is. Point of order, my ancestors owned it. Don't you think that makes me its rightful owner? Hmm. A cetera, are you? That, my dear, is a bold claim. <laughs> but still, who am I to dispute your heritage? You may, of course, have the keystone. That is, on one condition. You must take part in our exclusive event, the fight for naming rights. Dio's Champions versus the Corneo family! Should my team fall to those rogues, the Gold Saucer will become Corneo Land! Let's sit out! Training hard and getting those games! What's up, party people? What's up? It's a challenge from the dark! Find and mortify! Give us people what they want! Take it in peace! But look at me. I can barely lift a finger. And here I was, lamenting my lot in life, when you came along. Tis fate. Nay, divine intervention. What say you? Will you be my champions and go to war against Don Corneo? I'll do it. I'll fight. We win, we get the keystone. Right? As agreed, you have my word. Then we're in. Then we have ourselves a deal. <laughs> Naturally, I want you in peak physical condition for the big bout, so please use my hotel to rest up. Great. I'll jog on ahead and tell the others then.
Now indulge your ears. Going. Not so good. I had no idea you were into songwriting. Oh, I'm not. But I wanted to give it a shot. I see. Well, good for you. Never know till you try. Here. Cloud's all yours. I'll take care of Aerith after. Yes, ma'am. Sure does sleep a lot, huh? It's better this way. What? Why? Because of Cloud. He's still sick. Please. You gotta make Cloud get better. You gotta. I mean, I'd love to, but... You, uh... You said it's better for Aerith to stay asleep because Cloud's sick. Why is that? She'll die if she wakes up. Oh, you think? What makes you say that? Uh. Promise not to tell? <sighs> when she wakes up, a scary man is gonna kill her. Huh? 
Scott tries to save her, but he doesn't make it in time. He almost does, but he doesn't. She likes Cloud, so she's happy he came. Really, really happy. But... But... she dies. That's why you have to make Cloud better. If he's sick, he can't save Aerith. <sighs> Marlene, are you sure you didn't just have a bad dream? No. I saw it. Oh, okay. I did! <laughs> Don't worry, I believe you. With everything that's going on, how could I not? Okay. Just one question, if it's all right. Can you tell me what this scary man looked like? Please? His hair was long. And gray. Zack, did you see? They're blooming. Would you look at that? These were always Aerith's favorites. Do you think this means she's going to wake up? <sighs> Maybe. Can always hope. Hey, Elmira. I've got to go away for a bit. Need to talk to someone about Cloud. And who is this someone? A doctor? Well, he's, uh... <laughs> Close enough, I suppose. Well, hurry on back, okay? It's hard enough looking after these two with your help, but without it... Without you, I'd be a wreck. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going by bike. Shouldn't take long. Just keep an eye on them while I'm gone, okay? Oh, and if Aerith does wake up, please don't let her leave. No promises. That girl snuck out more times than I can count. <laughs> Don't let her. Please. I won't. about what you said. Couldn't stop thinking about it, actually. About how it's, it's up, up to each, each of us to find our own purpose in life. Because in Avalanche, I think I've found mine. We don't have a whole lot of time. So tonight's gotta be the night. Do yourself a favor and steer clear of Reactor 6. <laughs> Take care, Biggs. No, I didn't... That's not what I meant! <clears throat> Gotta find Elmira!
Oops. Did we wake you? Something on fire? Nope. Just happened to stumble across some tickets to Loveless. And thought I'd share my good fortune with you. Because I'm ex Shinra? <laughs> no. I wanted to invite everyone, but they'd already gone off on their own. Save for these two. <laughs> Ain't nothing weird about watching a play with the guys. Come on, we'll make a night of it. Congratulations. 
Would you like to sing it? Me? Going places. <laughs> Don't believe me? You'll see. <laughs> metropolis built of blood, sweat, and gears. The city of God. An insatiable machine devoid of pity. Neighbors on all sides fell victim to its hunger, while it grew larger and ever more powerful. The whirlwind of conquest swept up many, including him. Malcolm was the traveler's name. In search of the goddess's blessing, he had journeyed forth alone. He flung himself into the fray in the hope of becoming a hero. 
only to be flung in jail and branded a felon. To proceed, or not to proceed? These bars shall not hold me. I must fly free. Release me! My blade thirsts for vengeance! How did you find me? Your woeful cries could not fail to reach mine ears. seen a swordsman dance with such grace and skill. The goddess must have seen fit to grant him a sliver of her strength. Perhaps his dreams of becoming a hero may yet be fulfilled. Now then, ha, hail 
and well met, noble Alfred. Though I am but a humble fool, some talent and divination do I possess. Anything you wish to know, I shall gladly reveal. What is the future, if not the product of choices past? Each a fork in the road. None can divine the conclusion of every path. And yet, all tales that begin with a chance encounter share the same end. A tearful farewell. Well, that's enough of my blethering. It's time we set the stage in you. Tremble in fear before the mighty dragon's roar! Enough to prove his heroism once and for all. He had been unjustly imprisoned and stripped of his wings. Nevertheless, Alfred was resolved to press onward and reclaim the heavens. Now, without further ado... Friends, lend me your ears. Our aspiring hero's and indomitable princess's tale draws to a close. Only one act remains. Parting is indeed such sweet. My love. Alfred.
bereft of wings and broken. I consign you to the abyss. An inspiring victory, truly. Proof that love indeed conquers all, is it not? <laughs> what awaits you at Journey's End, I wonder? Will the goddess grant you her blessing? Or will the flames of vengeance consume you? All shall be revealed, O oh, puppet of fate. So dance while you still have time. Dance to your frayed strings break, and you can dance. Alfred, look! Must you go? Those I hold dear are waiting. I don't understand. I cannot. But... Please be safe. Rest assured. I shall return. You needn't promise that you'll wait, for I know that I will find you here.
That was a fun way to kill some time, but, uh, anybody know why Aerith was singing? Attention! The Sky Wheel will be closing soon. Please line up and have your ticket ready. What do you say, lads? Feel like going up, up, and away? Hell yeah! Ain't my usual ride, but she'll do. 